Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Hobonichi Weeks Mega and I use this planner for my work planner as a teacher so I'm going to show you a flip through pretty much of everything except most of the notes pages because it has confidential, confidential information in it. So um, like I said this is the Mega Weeks and the cover honestly when I first got this I thought it was going to be a lot harder and it's actually pretty thin and kind of flimsy. It's not like the hardcover weeks that I have now. Um, I don't know. I had a clear cover on it because I felt like it wasn't going to hold up and I'm glad that I did. That little mark right there, I had, um, it got on there literally within like a week last year of me using it. So, um, that really made me realize that I needed to get a cover for this. So I just used a clear cover from Hobonichi. And I think I have pictures of this. Well, I'm sure that I do on my Instagram. So we're going to go ahead and do a flip. And I didn't decorate any of really this paper. I really just like the pattern, so I just left it. Um, this was the front cover, and this is kind of just like my little um, key that I usually use. And then I just added some stickers. Now this is um, the Japanese version, so I picked up these stickers to go on top from Etsy. Um, obviously they have switched over and there are English weeks available now. So I don't really use um, the yearly overview pages, I just decorated it. Uh, in January I tried to use this like kind of like a tracker. Um, obviously that didn't work and I ended up really not using this, these pages at all. And then we jump right into January. So this month I tried to write down just one thing per day. Um, and then started using it more just for appointments and a little bit of decoration. So June, that was the end of the previous school year. So I didn't really use this for July. And then August, I start back to work. And this school year, I uh, decided to try the monthly kit stickers. So here was August. And actually, I think it was this day, I tried to use a happy planner. I switched over to a happy planner um, thinking I was going to be able to use it <laughs> and I thought I was going to need all of the space. So pretty much for August and September there's not really anything written because I was trying out another planner and spoiler alert the happy planner did not work for me. I came right back to my weeks in October and that's when things started filling up again on the monthly pages. And it was fun to try out like these um, monthly sticker kits. For me, it's just a little too much. Um, but like I said, it was fun to try out. Here is December. All right, and then here is January. And I didn't really do any forward planning except like for our themes for the classroom. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the weeklies. And here is the first week of January. And I started out using, uh, what is this? A Paper Make Flare. And just trying out different ways to use these pages. I had a similar, it was kind of like a Hobonichi Weeks dupe that I used, I think it must have been 2021. Um, and that's kind of what made me interested in trying the actual weeks. Um, the dupe that I had, I think it was like $15, which is definitely more affordable than the actual weeks, but I really loved the layout. And so I went ahead and picked this up. So this was the first week, um, February 7th, that I used an actual kit that was designed for the weeks. And then I was just really hooked and everything just came out great. I had enough room for everything that I needed. Um, the sticker kit, which 
in my other planners I probably wouldn't use like a full kit but something about this size it just worked out perfectly so I just kept going with that and most of these kits are from simply smith stickers on etsy or lisa lorraine plans those are where uh, the two places really those are the only two places that i get my weeks kits from and then these dots are either the zig um, little dot markers or I will just use a marker and just draw like a little circle. Alright, here comes June. This was the last week of school so I didn't really um, decorate much because I knew that it was um, going to be a short week. So here's June and then I'm going to go ahead and skip um, into October because remember I said that I tried out from teacher work week through September uh, a different planner and it didn't work. So here we are in October and I'm back in my weeks. And I was really just trying to use the other planner like I said because I thought I needed the space and it was kind of just forced um, I don't know. This planner is just, um, it works out perfect for work. Uh, this is the week of Thanksgiving, so not much there. And here we are in December. Okay, so this was the last week, um, let's see, that I used, yeah, so this was the last week that I used this planner. The following week right here, this was the last week of school before winter break, and I had switched over to my planner for 2023, my weeks for 2023. Um, then we have uh, this year at a glance, and I just put in uh, meetings that I knew were going to happen and due dates, and then here is the note section, and I really only used... Um, I mean, not even a quarter, maybe like an eighth of the notes pages. Um, I only got to page 41. So that really made me realize that for the next year, I did not need the week's mega. So that is it. That's the total flip through. Um, I've definitely decorated a lot more for this year. If you'd like to see a flip through of my 2023 weeks, I have that on my channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, leave them for me. Um, if you enjoy planner-related content, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.